And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for the return of Naya Anti-Metagame. Uh, you may remember us trying this on one of our best of one days a couple of weeks ago, and it was, you know, an interesting deck choice, um, but it didn't do super well in best of one because in best of one, we ran into a whole lot of mono red and Rakdos aggro that had fast starts and, and were able uh, to defeat us. But different people in chat said they were playing the deck in best of three and enjoying it a lot more in best of three where it's really what it's designed for. So here we go. We're bringing it back with best of three with a few upgrades, with a few changes uh, to, to help out. All right, so what our deck's designed to do, the reason why it's called anti-metagame is because it's it's designed to fight the cats and counters that we see all over the standard metagame. There are so many counterspell decks, you know, is it flash, simic, simic flash, uh, blue eye control playing a whole lot of counterspells, lots of counters in the metagame. And so we have um, Shifting Ceratops and Chandra Awakened Inferno. So we have both of these cards in the main deck that can't be countered. So that's what we're we're trying to do is against the counter spell decks, we got these can't be countered spells here. Um <clears throat> and then against the Cauldron Familiar decks, which are very popular also, we got four Knight of Autumns in the main deck to destroy those witches ovens, destroy those um uh the other card, um trailer crumbs. There we go. Destroy those trailer crumbs. And, of course, we have Karn the Great Creator, which is amazing against the food decks also because it shuts down Witch's Oven because the the passive ability there. It shuts down Witch's Oven, and it also shuts down the activated ability of the foods. Now, they can still sacrifice food to um, Gilded Goose, Cauldron Familiar, Wicked Wolf. You still have ways to, to um, sacrifice the food, but you can't just sacrifice it on its own. Also, the plus one can turn you can target your opponent's food token and turn it into a zero zero creature and therefore it kills it so the plus one just destroys a food if you want so you can you can do that but then you can also minus two and grab spyglass and spyglass can name those other cards i said you can name wicked wolf keep them from sacrificing you can name cauldron familiar um <clears throat> naming gilded goose doesn't do a whole lot but yeah, so Karn is, is really good in, in that matchup. So that's kind of like what we have here. We have a deck kind of built with some like weird card choices and just a weird combination of cards together to kind of shut down the cats and counters that are all over the top of the metagame. Uh, before, I was doing um, Incubation Druid also, but I'm going to be replacing those with Bond of Flourishing because we kind of ran out of cards some. We didn't have like a lot of card advantage. Um, but I, I just like Bond of Flourishing that can help us find whatever pieces we need. You know, do we need, are we playing against cats? We have these. If we're playing against counters, we go grab Ceratops and Chandra. If we just need more threats to finish games, we got Beast and Nyssa. Um, of course, well, of course, Karn finds the great, the great Henge also in our sideboard to get us a good amount of card advantage there. And he can go grab Meteor Golem, Spyglass, and then also Glass Casket if we need some removal. So those, these are the four artifacts that Karn can minus and find. I have four Prison Realms in the sideboard because whenever we played this a couple weeks ago, Nyssa wasn't as big in the metagame, but that's the other new new thing is like the Simic decks are all playing a whole bunch of Nissas now. Um, and Nyssa can be a problem. And I think the best thing in, in the Naya colors for Nyssa is probably Prison Realms. So that's why we got the four Prison Realms in our sideboard for the Nyssa matchups because if they're playing um, like the Ramp version, you can also just Prison Realm Cavalier of Thorn. Um, and uh, just like the other kind of cards like that, Agent of Treachery and, you know, Prison Realm's pretty decent there. Also in that matchup, we got some Realm Cloak Giants. You know, another per both of those are permanent. Both those are removal spells that are permanent, so you can find with Bond of Flourishing. Uh, we got an extra Chandra Awakened Inferno for the uh, counter spell decks and a Clarion for aggro. So here we go. Let's see how this does. Hopefully it does a little better in best of three. So we're going to play till we win five or lose two. Let's see what happens. Okay, so, um, yeah, Nautilus, uh, you can find all of my decks there on the Stream Decker page. So, yeah, if you want to see the, the Torbran sacrifice, you can find it up there. Yeah, against Fires of Invention, you know, we have the Knight of Autumns to blow up fires. Um, Prison Realm is pretty decent in that matchup, even though they can bounce it. But, you know, you have, like, your questing beast and your ceratops and stuff. You know, like, we, we have stuff. 
Swift Water Cliffs. I'm hoping this is like, is it Flash that's going to be weak to Ceratops? That's what I'm hoping here. Can't be countered. Oh, come on. <laughs> no. The lava coil. The lava coil heard around the world. Another Ceratops. What do they got this time? Mission briefing. Recast lava coil. You're welcome, Nautilus. Haha, -ha, they did have some quenches. So the thing about taking Paradise Druid there over taking a land means that we don't have the five mana to cat or the six mana to cast a Chandra if we would draw a Chandra. Do I want to Bone Crusher Giant right now while they're tapped out? Well, I guess not. Crawl. Okay, hoping to find a Chandra. So now that I know that they're playing chemisters inside, if I do nothing, it just gives them the opportunity to <clears throat> play the chemistry's insight freely. Card I want. Anyone who stands in my way is getting sizzled. Everyone knows the bigger explosions are more fun. Well, I guess we'll just play this. I was gonna go Bone Crusher Giant and then uh, ambush and have the ambush, you know, then kill the Chandra with the ambush and turn the Bone Crusher Giant into a five four, but. More Ceratops. All right, so we'll have four Chandra to go along with the four Ceratops now. Um, don't really think we do too much else. Yeah, Shifting Ceratops worked really great there because, yeah, they had, like, Quench at the beginning and everything. Um... Maybe we just take out Ambush for Prison Realms. I 
I do really like the counter that ambush can put on a, a card though. Like if we can if we can uh, ambush like a like with the ceratops and get this thing to be a six five instead of you know not a six five instead of a five four. Like that's a that one point is a really big deal. Naya means red, white, and green together. Hey, Storkster, Merry Christmas. So I kind of want to play Ambush because of that, getting these things to... Oh, getting those things to five toughness. Yeah, they should have a lot more Lava Coil type cards. But we got the Chandra's too. Chandra's should do a lot of work. Expecting a lot of red spells from them here. I'm not really sure if I need Karn in this matchup. Or like if Knight of Autumn's that great. Yeah, I'm going to be doing normal stream tomorrow. Starting at 3 Eastern, like always. Going 3 to 10. <laughs> oh, it's Tuesday. Easy to recognize by the 5-0 in the top left corner. I will be very surprised if we 5-0 with this deck, but maybe we will. Who knows? Maybe we just keep playing against counterspell decks and we draw our Ceratops and our Chandras. Um, oh, awesome, Guru. You got your second six mana Chandra through a random card reward. Awesome. Um, I don't think there's any sp specific best deck to get through gold. Uh, you know, just kind of pick a deck that you like and, and that you, um, that you enjoy and you, you wouldn't, that you would like to play a lot and, and play it a lot and learn it well and, uh, you know, develop good sideboard plans and you'll be good to go. There isn't any deck that's that's better than others. Uh, somebody probably can in in the chat, Rudy. All right, so I know we need, we're going to need two more lands to play the Chandra, but we're probably going to find more lands. That's probably going to happen. All right, that's probably happening. So if I say put two counters on Knight of Autumn, they shock it in response. And then I don't get counters on it. So I'm going to say gain four life. Hey, what's up, Eric? Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. That four life may matter. Resubbing for five months now for Eric to be sub number five. Perfect. I know Questing Beast gets countered where Ceratops doesn't, but I like being able to have Ceratops have haste. And, you know, be able to do the five damage immediately so we don't just get, you know, so we don't just trade Ceratops for Lava Coil and get nothing from that. So, you know, force them to have the counter spell.
Hey, Velvet, doing great. Christmas Eve. So yeah, it looks like they wanted to sit on... Maybe they're going to sit on Blast Zone for four. Maybe they're going to try to get Blast Zone up to six. It does seem like a problem dealing with Chandra. I honestly don't know how they deal with Chandra. I think we're going to just let them blast zone kill Ceratops. I think it's a lot easier for them to deal with Ceratops. With, you know, like Lava Coil. Chandra seems a lot more difficult for them to deal with. So I'm just going to keep this pressure on them. Yeah, there's a good chance that they have another counter spell if I try just playing Karn, it gets countered. But yeah, Karn Spyglass Blast Zone. If all that would resolve, that would be an option. But even if I would do that, they would they would just pop the Blast Zone and kill the Karn at that point, so. Yeah, I like I like keeping this pressure on them. Because now they have to like spend Three mana plus the blast zone to destroy this. Then they have to like lava coil the ceratops, and then then they so that would mean even if they have lava coil, they only have two mana for questing beast. Which I mean they could have you know like ether gust or something. So they could, but of course they're at eight. We have two emblems. Opponent's in a lot of trouble. They're in a lot of trouble. Which is why I liked playing the Ceratops and pressuring them a lot with these emblems. in a lot of trouble. That's what our anti-metagame deck does, though. All these can't be countered spells. Play against the counter spell deck. Alright, and we're 1-0. That's definitely one of our better matchups. 
Ceratops and six mana Chandra are awesome there. Deck, why why do you do this? What if I just go go with this and just have turn two Paradise Druid, turn three another Paradise Druid, and just hope we draw two lands and play something like a Chandra that's super impactful, and just hope Chandra wins the game for us? Like a Ceratops really winning the game for us? I think it's either I think it's like one of those two hands. Kind of like keeping this. Um I've been playing Magic um for a good 10 years. Like a lot of Magic. Uh-oh. Get him, beast. I need my Knight of Autumn. Please don't have Beanstalk Giant. Just don't... Yeah, just don't have Beanstalk Giant. Good. Wow, that hurts. So I think I want to play Chandra this next turn. Ugh. Yeah, Beanstalk Giant. Well, thanks, JJ. Thank you so much. Hope you have a wonderful Christmas as well. Yeah, we gotta always bolt the innkeeper. We've learned that. We've learned that. Um, yeah, learned that lesson. Thanks, Phil Shelda. Hey, have a good workout. So I'm kind of expecting both Paradise Druids to die. Yep, that's what I was expecting. Which is why I wanted to, you know, like I could have gone questing beast and attack with everything, but then they kill both Paradise Druids, and then I'm I'm left with this Chandra I can't play anymore. Well, that was the worst case scenario of them having Bone Crusher Giant and Brazen Borrower. One or the other.
one or the other would have been f bad for me, but not not the worst case. But then having both. Ouch. I mean, that's just like, that's just Lava Coil. We're just going to be playing a new beast. And attacking in for four again. I really wanted to draw land. I just, I just want to draw two lands here and try to get to Chandra. That's all I want. Yeah, this is interval. I'm Chandra, the immolation sensation. Tick up. Darn. <laughs> bye bye. What am I getting with Karn? Not really much. I just wanted to land and play land Night of Autumn. But I guess we're grabbing Paradise Druid. That means I'm one turn away from playing the Chandra. But yeah, I would have preferred just go land Night of Autumn. Yep. Thanks, Dorkster. Um, it shouldn't be that hard to sub with Twitch Prime if you if you click on this link here. There should be the option for Twitch Prime on there. I'm just so dead. Uh, Lucky Clover got me pretty good this game. Got me very good this game. We came close, you know, we molded the five and we came close. I 
I don't even know if I play Rome Cloak Giant, honestly. You know, like they have like of course their Bone Crusher Giants that doesn't kill. I think Shifting Ceratops is probably my least favorite card in the main deck here. Oh yeah, Chandra minus, and then they can't. Oh, I didn't think of them not being able to attack with the beast. I guess that you know they could have had another one one, but yeah, I guess we could have cleared up the rest of the battlefield with the Chandra minus three. Yeah, that was definitely the play I should have done there instead of concede. Whoops. Okay, we get to keep our get to keep our uh, seven card hand. Yeah, they still would have the Fey of Wishes on the board, but that wouldn't have like killed me. But yeah, I mean they they had a lot of mana, pretty easy to bounce Fey of Wishes and go grab other things, and obviously they had all the other creatures in exile too. But I wasn't like dead that turn. Hey, Enardin. Happy holidays. Should be playing the stomping ground here. Karn can get Glass Casket, they can take the Lovestruck Beast. That's one option if Lovestruck Beast turns into being more of a problem. Yep, yep, Glass Casket is very vulnerable to Brazen Borrower, though. Lucky Clover has just destroyed us.
Where's our Knight of Autumns? Blow those up. I would have grabbed Knight of Autumn with Bond of Flourishing if we found one, but there wasn't one down there. So they have Brazen Bar work here as well. I don't need the extra mana for the forest. Come on. What is... Why would it not let me respond? It just didn't let me respond at all. Obviously I wanted to float two mana with this. What was that about? Because I want to play the Bone Crusher Giant. That's what I wanted to do. Because I want my Bone Crusher to trade with theirs. Obviously, I don't want my Forest to trade. Yeah, the, the playlist is under playlist. What? Obviously, I'm dead if they have a 1-1. One, one. But we're going to have... That took him a while. Man, Lucky Clover was just... Pretty insane that game, that match. Ugh, that card's so good. Oh well, we're one and one now. Even though we almost got that game one, even though we mulled to five. And my opponent, you know, cast all of those cards with Lucky Clover. We still almost got that first game. All right, Bond to Flourishing. All right, against Breeding Pool.
take Chandra. Cool. <clears throat> Chandra putting putting fright in flash players everywhere. Normally, like, if we were playing ranked, I wouldn't count this as a win. We didn't do too much, but, you know, like, this is a league, like, where you know, we just play till five wins or two losses, it counts. So we're two and one. Hey, yeah, maybe they had to run. Or maybe they just were frustrated that Chandra main deck and just wanted to go to the next match. They could have just lost to Chandra pretty bad, like, previously. And they didn't want to face Chandra again and just quit. Could have. Could have realized they submitted the wrong deck. And there's a different deck they wanted to play. I have to die another six months. Thank you so much for keeping that Twitch Prime sub going. Yeah, Chandra's a good card in the format. I wouldn't necessarily say that Chandra's worth crafting. It's If you have a deck that you want to play Chandra in, then Chandra can be worth crafting, but not just automatically go craft the card kind of thing. Yeah, Torbrand Sacrifice went 5-0. Uh, how do we... Thranary? Thranary. Thran... Thranary. Thranary. There we go. We'll go with that. Welcome. Thanks for the, the Twitch Prime sub. Uh, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Hey, Celesnia, GG's. Um, um, yeah, you can... You can uh, replay... Yeah, there you go, Wrangler. Yeah, the video is going to be up on YouTube. You can check it out there when it's up. We'll just block here. I guess we just play Nissa. Unfortunately, my opponent only has the two lands. Like they're they're struggling over here. Um. Yeah, right now, if you go to like if you click like the videos, you can just go to today's video and rewind it. Also, thank you so much, there, Thranery. I really appreciate that. Poor opponent, Nissa and Chandra. These planeswalkers are just much too good for three mountains. Hey, Savage. Hey, Storm. Yeah, doing good. 
Hawkeye went back into the vet today because he just hasn't been eating. I, I had, could not get him to eat like last night or this morning. I couldn't get him to eat. So he went back into the vet and basically nothing's wrong with him. Like he's, you know, he's healthy and everything. But what they think is that because, uh, you know, his teeth were pulled six days ago and his pain medication wore off. And so they, they think that his his mouth is just really, really sore and that that it um, that just hurt him too much to eat. And so they just gave him um, gave him another painkiller shot. And so hopefully he'll eat now. So we're playing against Mono Red. Let's bring in removal. We saw those main deck Knight of Autumns put in a lot of good work. I think Karn's going to be a little slow. Chandra's probably unnecessary also. So what if I just play those? Oh, obviously, I want Clarion. I kind of want Realm Club Giant also. This is 63 now. I guess Domer's Ambush is the least, uh, least reliable card for us. Removal spell. Take those out. Okay, good. Yeah, basically he's he's good with everything except for eating. And so he's you know he's losing, but because of that you know he's losing weight and his his coat doesn't look as good. And I I tried getting him a lot of different type of food. You know, I was thinking maybe it was like the food that he didn't didn't really like the food that he wanted different food. But that wasn't really the case. Leading with Fabled Passage means that we're for sure going to be able to have an untapped land on turn three, but we have to pay for it with two life. All right, drawing Clarion will Fabled Passage to go grab Mountain. It's a good draw. I'm glad we didn't shuffle and shuffle that away. I'm glad we drew that. Well, that's a good card against Clarion. We'll just Prison Realm Chandra this next turn. This hand seems, yeah, even like before the Clarion, this is <clears throat> basically as fast as our deck goes. You know, like turn two Paradise Druid, it doesn't get, our deck isn't faster than that. Um, Yeah, the Gruul creature is, looks pretty good, the new Gruul enchantment creature, the god. I wouldn't necessarily say that it looks busted. It's not like Torbrand good. That fourth toughness. That was a good hand for the opponent. Good hand. GG. Hey, not sir. Happy Festivus. 
One land. Lots of lands. Paradise Druid not as valuable when you have Deafening Clarion. If they have Chandra again, we have Questing Beast that kills the Chandra, so we don't have to use Prison Realm. And we can save Prison Realm for Torbrian. If they go wide, we have Clarion. That's going to require a Clarion. So I had a Forest, Bond of Flourishing, and Paradise Druid. Would I want to draw those cards? Not particularly. The Bond of Flourishing would be the best draw out of those three. I just, I'll save the fetch. Good job, Velvet. Three month streak. Thank you so much, Azuki. Brand sacrifice is finished for the YouTube channel now.
I don't want that card either. They do have Torbrand. I'm vulnerable now, of course. But... That's just how that is. Spitfire. Ceratops can get reach to be able to block Spitfire. I'm not going to let them just have a bolt kill the questing beast. That seems like the reason to attack with war bosses that they have a, a shock. That's what I meant, so that they have a shock. But of course we need to make sure that we don't die to said shock. It just comes at us. Hmm. So now do I block with Ceratops or kill Cavalcade? We don't get to do both. If I kill Cavalcade, they attack out. They do one to me with Spitter. Shock does another two to me. That's six. We die to Spitfire. So I think we have a pretty easy decision here, I guess. So if, I, if I don't block Spitfire, we <clears throat> we die. We take, yeah, minimum. I mean, yeah, we'd have... Oh, jeez. Well, two, four, six, eight, nine. This is exactly nine. And I'm at nine. That's unfortunate. This is exactly nine damage. Who knows? Maybe I miscounted. We need one more mana. We need to not block with the Paradise Druid last turn. I guess if one more mana wouldn't have mattered, because then we wouldn't have been able to give the Ceratops reach. Oh, so it was ten. It wasn't just nine. So yeah, that's 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 the kind of archetype that we've struggled with this one is the red aggro. Whenever we played in best of one, we struggled against red aggro. Um, Scouching Scourger was really, really impressive for my opponent in those games. Scampering Scourger? Scampering Scourger. Whatever. That card. That card was just awesome. Um, but. Oh, well. Hey, Hawkeye. How are you doing, bud? But yeah, so that's, um, <laughs> so there we go. There's my anti-meta game. We saw that whenever we played against the counterspell decks, the Chandra looked awesome, and uh, you know, same with Ceratops and stuff like that. We didn't get to really like the Knight of Autumns in the main deck were awesome. That's the thing is there's there's just a lot of artifacts and enchantments to be destroying right now, and Knight of Autumn 
is just really good. And so yeah, Night of Autumn Maine was really good. And um, all of our anti counter spell stuff was good too. But red aggro is tough, and teamer adventure just can can outgrind um, mid range decks. And uh, they had you know especially with lucky clover, and they had those lucky the lucky clovers that were devastating. All right. Um, so there we go. That's my anti-metagame. So those of y'all uh, watching on YouTube, hope you enjoyed the deck. Hope, uh, it did play a little bit better in best of three, but we still, you know, we didn't really play much of the counter and cat matchups. Uh, we didn't get to play too much of those. Only saw one one of those decks. All right. Uh, but also, you know, hit that like button over there. And of course, leave the comments. Let me know what you think of the upgrades that we did to the deck since the last time that we played. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.